Today we're going to check out the Versa Indoor Amplified Folding TV Antennas from Antop. The Versa antennas come in a pack of two, so you can set up two separate TVs with antennas to receive free over-the-air television. They also are amplified and are really quick and easy to set up. The Versa indoor antennas also have built-in 5G LTE filters that will block out cell phone signals that might hinder your TV reception. All right, and here is everything unpacked from the box. You get two identical indoor TV antennas. Let's take a closer look here. They're very small. They fold and unfold like a wallet, and each antenna has a coaxial cable already attached to it, along with Antop's SmartPass amplifier. And each antenna comes with a power supply and wall plug, and also a little mounting clip that can be used in a couple of ways. I'll show you that in a little bit. The Versa antenna just unfolds like a wallet and is about 10 inches long and just under three inches high and is very thin, so it won't take up much space at all. The built-in coaxial cable is 10 feet long and has Antop SmartPass amplifier integrated right in line with the cable. And this cable is thicker than the spaghetti-thin cable that is usually included with indoor TV antennas. Now the little mounting clip can actually be used in a couple of ways. It mounts to the antenna like this. You just take this end with the notches on it and there's a little pin here that's flat on two sides. You're gonna slide it in this way, parallel to the antenna. And then what you do is just turn it carefully and then fit the cable in like that. And now it becomes a clip-on antenna. If you have a TV that is thin enough, you can actually clip this on to the top of your TV. If that is a good place for TV signal reception, you have that option. And if you turn the stand 90 degrees, then it also lets the antenna stand up on a shelf or table. Once you have the antenna unfolded and the mounting clip in place, all you have to do is connect the coaxial cable to the RF in plug on your television or digital converter box and then power up the amplifier by connecting the DC power plug to the amplifier and the power block to the wall outlet. And now you're ready to aim your antenna and run a channel scan. Just remember that each antenna must be set up on its own TV and that means running a channel scan separately on each television. Antop SmartPass amplifier gives you two modes of operation to really help you tailor the antenna system to your reception needs. In this mode, the LED light is yellow and that means that the amplification has been reduced and that prevents the overloading or over amplification of signals that might be broadcast with more power or might be closer to your location. And switching to the other mode, the LED light turns green and this boosts the amplification power to bring in distant or weak signals. One tip I would give you about using the SmartPass amplifier to its full potential is to switch it to the mode that gives you either the strongest TV signal or the greatest number of TV channels. But which mode you choose really depends on your reception situation. The instructions included are in clear, plain language and very easy to follow. Now that your antenna is set up, it's time to aim it for the best possible TV signal. Setting up an indoor antenna can be very finicky because not only are you contending against all the building materials that can block your TV signal, you're also dealing with the outside factors such as trees, mountains, hills, valleys, as well as other buildings, not to mention the strength of the broadcast signals as well as your distance from the broadcast towers. So aiming an indoor antenna can be tricky. A couple of tips to remember about placing indoor TV antennas. Always put them on a wall that faces the direction of your local broadcast towers. 
Better yet, put it in a window that faces the TV signal and always try to put it up high so that the antenna can grab as much signal as possible. One thing you shouldn't do though is assume that simply clipping the antenna to your TV or placing the antenna behind your television is going to be the best place to get signal. You really should try a few spots before you settle on one location. In my area, there's only three over-the-air TV channels available to receive, and two of them are on the low VHF band and require an outdoor antenna to receive them. The only channel that's suitable for indoor reception is RF Channel 9 TV Ontario, which is on the high VHF band. And this small antenna did a good job receiving that station. With the amplifier switched into green mode with a little bit of extra boost, the signal was in the mid to high 60s, which is very respectable for such a small antenna. And switching it to yellow mode, cutting back that amplification a bit, the signal only dips slightly into the low to mid 60s. So this channel is coming in reliably once I found a good spot for the antenna, it didn't seem to matter too much which way I positioned the antenna. It picked up the signal well in different orientations, whether I laid it flat or no matter which side I faced towards the broadcast towers, it was able to pick up the signal very well. Now, given the temperamental nature of indoor TV reception, along with the fact this antenna is so small, I thought it did a good job receiving RF channel 9 in my area. That's the only channel I can receive indoors, and usually I need to use a pair of rabbit ears or something along those lines, a slightly bigger antenna, to pick this channel up. The Versa TV antenna should do very well receiving strong signals on RF channels 7 through 36 on the high VHF and UHF TV bands within a city or the surrounding suburbs. Keep in mind that since this is an indoor antenna, you want to mount it as high as possible and on a wall or window facing the direction of your local broadcast towers. This antenna would be perfect for anyone living in an apartment or anyone looking for an antenna that doesn't take up too much space or someone looking for an amplified antenna that's very easy to set up. If you're interested in buying this two-pack of indoor antennas from Antop, then check the description of this video for a link as well as a special discount code for my viewers.